Okay, MC's question is regarding Daniel 8, verse 13. The New American Standard Bible has it. Then I heard a holy one speaking, and another said to that particular one who was speaking. I'm wondering about the original language behind that particular one who was speaking. Mm -hmm. Some say that the word used is Hebrew and is translated as certain or particular. Some others say that although the language is Hebrew, that some of the words are Babylonian, and that that is the case here where that word is Babylonian and is actually a proper name and should be translated as wondrous numberer of secrets. Yeah, there, there's there's really nothing special about the term here. If if, if people want to go to Daniel eight thirteen in the ESV, it's then I heard a holy one speaking, and another holy one said to the one who spoke, and that would correspond to the particular one in the New American Standard Bible. The term underneath the English, again, that gets that rendering either particular one or that the one who spoke, is palmoni. That's the lemma, and it, it's it's known. It's a Hebrew term. It's not something that you know, has to be brought over from Akkadian. Now, obviously, Akkadian or Babylonian, they're, they're going to have an equivalent because the languages are related. But the, the term in and of itself basically just means uh, something different, okay? So, something um, something that isn't the same as this other thing, okay? Just just something different. And so the, the a translation like NASB has a particular, this particular angel. I mean, that, that that's a good a good translation because it's focusing on one and not the other. Again, it, it, this is a term of, of distinguishing. Now, for those who have a, a, a tool like Halot, Hebrew and Aramaic lexicon of the Old Testament, or Kohler Baumgartner or something like that, there is a note uh, in that entry, you know, for the lemma in, the, in those sources, where that has a question mark on it, so the, the editors are not certain. But they'll note that the the term pe lamed he three Hebrew letters might be related to pe lamed aleph, and linguistically I can just tell you without going into the details. Yeah, that that's possible. Aleph and he, uh, there isn't some interchangeability between languages with with you know those letters. Now that's important because pe lamed aleph does have this idea of something wondrous. The problem is though that palmoni. The first three consonants are pe lamed mem. It's not pe lamed aleph in any one of one of these situations, either here in Daniel 13, 8, 13, or elsewhere where it's used. But you do have some sort of relationship linguistically that exists. And there is a, a an interchangeability there also in Babylonian. So that pe lamed aleph, pele, would be the noun. That's a term that, that means wondrous things, or like, you know, in Isaiah 9, you know, what, what typically is translated wonderful counselor, literally in Hebrew, that's doer of wonders, that kind of thing. Um, Pela, Pelam, and Aleph, and that sort of thing. But again, that is not specifically the term in Daniel 13. And I think more importantly, this is not a proper name. Okay. It is not a proper noun. It's just a normal noun. So to say that this is a, this word here in Daniel 8.13 is a proper name that should be translated wondrous numberer of secrets. That's just bogus. Again, but you should know that there is a, a, there's a conceptual link between, now catch what I'm saying here, something different and then something wondrous, because wondrous things aren't normal things. I mean, there, so there's, there's, a, there's a sort of a conceptual link between the two ideas, but we do not have a proper name here as somebody who should be called wondrous no number of secrets.